Yes, we came uh, about a, half, a year and a half ago with 100% Swiss made tourbillon at a price that, ha that, that has created some shock, I think, in the industry. And this year, uh, at Time to Watches, we come with something further or more, which is our own um, in house complication. Swiss made entirely developed here with a base of Sopod uh, M100. We came with our own movement uh, that redefined literally the lecture of time, the way we perceive the time. So we have a prototype. Uh, you will certainly uh, zoom on the prototype to mention that it's not the final case, the final finishing. We'll be, of course, doing much more refinement on that timepiece, but it already enables to understand what this is about. It's about redefining the approach of time, redefining how we perceive the time. How do we do that? We uh, integrated a double circle inside you remember you and I played when we were kids with those spirograph, I don't know how you say in English, around, in a round yes. that when you turn, it makes very beautiful uh, uh, shapes, etc., etc. We, we got inspired from this. That's the little child we all keep inside. Uh, and those two, uh, those two round uh, hands turning together or, or dancing together describe an hypocycloid, a triangle. So the time at Bayo became non-circular, non-linear, it becomes a triangle. And what is very poetic about it is that the time is exactly, that, that's more an emotional time as you and I live, because not every hour is the same. So in our watch, the time goes in an angle, it stays for half an hour there, and then it goes right to the next angle for a few hours. And it's exactly what we experience during our day, we rush from one corner to the other and suddenly something great happens. You stop, you take a while for yourself. And this is exactly this emotional time that we describe in this uh, chapter Delta introduced by Bayo BA111 OD. Today, um, I would like to introduce one of our novelties for the, for the fair, which we have launched uh, since the first day of the fair. It's a very unique piece because it's um, uh, ultra lightweight watches that we completely design and develop in-house. This timepiece here is um, uh, it's called 20G because the watch uh, head unit itself is only weight 20 gram. So it's a theme of an ultra lightweight watch uh, for our novelty this year. Um, the, what's special about this watch is first, um, it's not uh, the thinnest watch in the world, but it's in a, in a kind of thin case, curve, and the special part of the watch is it has a curved movement. So you are expecting um, all the parts are uh, uh, installed and uh, construct based on the curved main plate in an angle difference of 15 degrees. And plus we use a lot of lightweight materials such as titanium for this version. Uh, the whole main plate, the bridges are all used titanium. So that's how it made it 20 gram in, in terms of weight. Uh, the titanium version will be limited in production as we can only produce around about 10 to 15 pieces per month. And um, it will start delivering in September this year. My aim was not to really carry on the ashes, 
but uh, the fire of the old uh, Suhi and that meant that uh, coming from the arts and coming from design, I wanted to uh, relaunch a very contemporary line with uh, very contemporary uh, uh, timepieces. Well, the table clock uh, for me was like really again like the whole project, uh, project of uh, pure passion, a little bit of craziness. I said Suhi was so famous for his uh, big clocks, so I also want to make a big clock. And uh, everyone told me, Robert, a table clock, no one will buy a table clock. But uh, I'm really proud that already of this beautiful piece, we have uh, already sold a couple of pieces to uh, Swiss collectors in Switzerland. And the idea was really to do a table clock for the 21st century, meaning that uh, a very contemporary design, not like a movement and then you just cover a case on top of it, but a very integrated uh, design where the movement, the skeletal movement is really integrated uh, in the case and vice versa. The case is made of uh, solid brass, uh, hand polished, uh, hand cut glass, again with a former purveyor to the Habsburg court, with Lobmeyer we're working with the, with the glass. It's on both sides attractive uh, for the eye. We have a silver gong, once an hour, gold plated, and um, it is a piece that we launched last year, but you see, I think the design language and the design DNA, this kind of Viennese elegance from the table clock to the first uh, watch with the beautiful uh, Wild series, where we have, uh, again, this kind of Vienna 1900 inspiration of a design language that's very fluid, where one material enters uh, the next material seamlessly. And uh, in this case, I also said Vienna was never a speed capital. Well, perhaps in the 19th century, but not now, definitely not. So not every second counts. So instead of a second hand, we have a second dial that moves uh, slowly around. And every 60 seconds, it complements the ornamentation, the guilloche ornamentation on the, on the dial. Uh, a wonderful uh, skeleton uh, movement in that case. That was uh, the waltz number one. And uh, then this year, just on Monday, we, uh, were all, we had the world premiere of uh, the Belvedere. Again, playing with the Viennese elegance, the Viennese history, the Viennese legacy. A more bolder design, uh, a more yeah, sporty design, casual design. Uh, it's uh, a moving date. So we have here the moving second uh, waltzing disc. Here have the moving date means that uh, dial moves around and opens the date window. So every 24 hours, the watch looks a little bit differently uh, to the viewer. And uh, we launched this uh, on Monday in blue, black and, uh, and white. And the beauty is uh, again at the rotor, micro engraved uh, the famous palace uh, of Belvedere, uh, Prince Eugene, um, the famous uh, uh, prince uh, in Vienna, was the inspiration a little bit. So bolder, a little bit Baroque from uh, the back. Also the imprint uh, on here of the uh, Baroque garden. And uh, but at the end, a very clean and very sober and very sophisticated design with many little details of polished and, uh, and uh, shiny uh, surfaces. Uh, gives it a very contemporary look again, despite our long tradition. Uh, some uh, limited editions, for example, from the Skeleton, uh, we have uh, done limited editions. We have uh, also with the table, it's always a, an edition of 10 pieces. And then we move uh, to the next edition where we change a little bit uh, the color scheme or the glass and uh, gravure, etc. Uh, the others are not limited, but limited production, I would say, uh, we are talking about, for example, this year of 15 skeleton pieces only. Uh, or we are producing of the Belvedere this year 100 pieces. Today we are here at Time to watch us, and we just launched recently the L3 uh, Spheric Purple. And with this watch, we wanted to show something new, a new dial, and it's in complete purple. 
this watch now has a DLC coating, is stainless steel, and is a hand winding with a manufacturer movement from Concepto. It has a Barrenia leather, which is here blue, but you can have it in different colors, all handmade in Italy. Another one is the L3 Cherry Blossom. It's like right now the Cherry Blossom season where everything uh, getting pink here in Geneva, but also back home in Zurich. So this is how we created uh, the next piece, the L3 Cherry Blossom, a uh, very colorful pink dial, but a uh, serious topic. Uh, we launched it for the, for the Swiss Cancer Foundation and uh, in October, uh, it's, uh, October is the Awareness Month for Breast Cancer and and 50% uh, of, the, of, the of every sale uh, went there and now under the year it's still 20% going uh, for this course. Yeah, uh, it's our commitment and we launched a watch with Andrea Petkovic, she's a famous uh, tennis player and a friend of the brand and uh, she, she stands also for this uh, very serious uh, topic. This one is an automatic movement. You can also have it as hand winding. For us, it is very important that the client can choose and customize each piece. Coming to the last piece, this is the L3 Seas Red. It's the last watch that our father created after give, handing over the company to us. It has a red sapphire which is unique in the whole watch industry. It is also conceptual movement. It's limited to 100 pieces and uh, it's with a DLC coating, Barrenia leather again, and it's on both sides red sapphire.